Hi, I'm Sarah Hollenbat, the author of The Jaguar, shortlisted for the 2023 Stella Prize. So The Jaguar is a book of poetry that deals with my father's experiences of Parkinson's disease. It's a book of elegies and it's a book in which I revisit that relationship and consider the ways that he changed over the course of his disease and how our relationship changed during that time as well. Through these poems, I was thinking a lot about the, the lack of language that we have for death and dying. And I was thinking about how we like to pretend that we're separate from this, you know, the animal world in which those things happen all the time. Um, and so it's a, it's a book of poetry, I suppose, that, that considers the ways in which humans are animal and how we as animals contend with those last moments and years of living. So The Jaguar really is a book that, that was 20 years in the making in that my dad got Parkinson's when I was 18. And for a long time, I just didn't think that that was the proper subject of poetry. Um, and it took me a long time to shape that experience into language and to think about what kinds of poems might come from it. So it was long in the making and then relatively condensed in the writing in that um, I, I wrote a lot of the poems in a rush after dad died. And I think that's often how that works. Uh, we have experiences that are very intense. It can take some time to, to consider how to shape art from that experience. And, and that was my experience. It's sort of a book that was very long in the making and then in the end quite short in the making too. The thing that I suppose draws me to writing poetry is the fact that the poem starts and ends in silence. Every poem is a new act of imagining. Every poem has a lot of freedom in it, you know, to, to build language, to, to use music, to consider the shape of language on the page. Uh, and I suppose for me, the act of writing a poem is partially musical, it's partially visual, it's about composition, and it's all about language and finding the most charged and condensed way to grapple with, with experience in language. My father is a giant koi. My father is at the bottom of a pond, perfecting the art of the circle. He is guiding the mottled zeppelin of his body in a single unceasing turn, like a monorail running on greased steel, like an ice skater swerving on a blade. His scales are lava and ember dappled with carbon. His tail a luxurious Japanese fan. He is so far beneath the green skin of duckweed, he cannot make me out, or I him. What he knows is shrinking into round facts, days like mossed stones, each the same weight, spears of water hyacinth rising around him like jail bars, reek of peat. He has been down there for years, ancient god of the dark, keeper of the single koan, moving in currents only he can sense, fluent as a windsock. He surfaces three times a day when the nurse brings a tray, cold blanched carrot and beef, white sauce fillet of whiting, pound cake, he cannot trust the scratched headlamps of his eyes, so he navigates by feel, angling his huge whiskered head, mouth first towards the fork, weaving like an adder charmed by smoke. Then he bites down to find the world suddenly there again, solid as metal and bait.